Pointillism is a really useful hand technique to use in permanent makeup and is a fail-safe for some type of clients. I make regular educational content on here, so if you hit the subscribe button, you will never miss another video and it also really helps my channel grow. I'm going to show you how to use pointillism today and when to use it, and you can even practice along with me on latex. Hi, I'm Katie Schofield. I'm a permanent makeup artist and trainer here in the UK, and I train people all over the world. So if you'd like to join my Facebook group, Permanent Excellence, then there's a link in the description below. And if you're looking for permanent makeup mentorship, then hit the train in person link and I'll see how I can help you become a more confident artist. So let's look at some pointillism. So today we're going to talk about pointillism and what pointillism essentially is, is lots of little dots. And you would do these quite quickly because you would want scattered little dots like that. If you were to do them too slow, you're going to implant too much pigment and you're going to get dark blobby results that look unnatural. You can see there that they're much darker just from holding my hand more still. So when would I use pointillism? Pointillism is really great for outlining um, ombres that don't want a harsh outline. Again, I wouldn't do it like this in a line because it's going to look really unnatural. Rather, I would do it in a more random pattern along the edge. I also use it in the front of my ombres in the bulb because that's where we want the least colour because they're fading out to an ombre. So in the bulb I will just um, dot some dots in and that, then I can shade into that area. Pointillism is also really great if you've got any um, light patches in your work and then you can just go and dot in some little dots. rather than overshading it and ending up with a dark patch instead. You can also do a full brow in pointillism, especially if you're working on more mature clients that can't take the more aggressive uh, whip shading or even a pendulum movement. You can very gently just add pointillism. If it was a mature client, I'd probably use a bigger needle than a 1RL that I'm using now. But essentially, all an ombre is is just dots. So you can do them by hand like that. You can see that that it's pretty much the same thing, just done slowly, more methodically, and more gently. Pointillism is a really important technique to learn and use, and it's just one of many needle techniques in permanent makeup. Are you familiar with the rest? Well, I've made this video here to help you nail your other techniques. As always, I appreciate your questions, likes, and subscriptions. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.